ISIS was really a new manifestation of the Al-Qaeda in Iraq insurgency. The Al-Qaeda in Iraq insurgency had supposedly been defeated by the time the Americans left in 2011. We now know that wasn't the case. And the civil war in Syria opened up a lot of territory in Syria that wasn't under government control. As a result of that vacuum that developed, the original Al-Qaeda in Iraq insurgency was able to expand into Syria, take territory there, then use that base to go back into Iraq and begin taking territory. But people didn't really start to take notice of them at all until they captured Fallujah in 2014 at the beginning of the year. And then the sweep into Mosul in June 2014 was when the world began to take notice that this was a very serious threat. The real reason why the Islamic State succeeded in the way that it did was because all the forces on the ground were so weak. The Iraqi army really wasn't capable of taking over from the US military and had many structural flaws that prevented it from being an effective fighting force. And as we know, the Syrian government had collapsed in Syria or many parts of Syria. The minute the US started hitting them with airstrikes, they weren't able to withstand that sort of pressure. And then the arming of the different factions around the different parts of the battlefield who were all allied with the United States in one way or another, or in Syria with the Syrian government taking on ISIS on a separate front, that combined force, that concerted effort to roll this group back, in the end it was only a matter of time before they would be defeated. Certainly nobody is predicting ultimate defeat over ISIS. I think we can pretty much say that the territorial caliphate is dead now. There are a few black blobs on the desert still, but it doesn't even mean they're necessarily there. It just means the troops advancing haven't necessarily reached those places yet, but it's empty desert. They control nothing of significance. With the territorial defeat of the caliphate, we no longer have ISIS with a command and control center where they can freely operate in Iraq and Syria. What you do have is a legacy in Europe, a slightly different legacy of people who have been inspired by that ideology and want to strike out in their home countries. Now, will the end of the caliphate spell the end of that ideology? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's a separate virtual presence where there are people now, they're probably not operating in Iraq and Syria anymore. They don't have land or territory or communications capable of providing the same sort of support that they used to, but these people do exist online. They have inspired a number of people. And I also think it's a bit too early to tell whether the territorial defeat will continue to inspire new jihadis, new extremists to take up that mantle and continue it in the West, or whether we are going through the last, the, the last soldiers of the caliphate, if you like, the ones who've already committed themselves and are still determined to carry out their plans. We don't know how many of them there are, but will this sort of fade away once there isn't that inspiration of the territorial caliphate? So already we are seeing that ISIS wasn't the problem in the Middle East. ISIS was the symptom of the problem in the Middle East, which is um, a lack of agreement on the form governments should take, the lack of effective central governments, the lack of effective states, the, the huge competition between rival factions in the region. With ISIS gone, all these other problems are going to come to the fore and people are going to start squabbling amongst themselves and fighting over the legacy of this caliphate, the territory, the political influence and control over the vacuum that has been left.